Hey folks, it's Lucy at Ballyhoo Creations and I want to share some new stuff I bought. Christmas gift cards, things like that, and I bought some fabric and some other tools. So I'm just going to share a little haul with you here. Some of you may know I've been making plushies lately, um, stuffed animals, plushies, softies, things like that. So I have a lot of faux fur, but I wanted some more in different colors. So I went to um, Hobby Lobby online and bought some of this stuff. And it's very soft. You could make a blanket or I'm making plushies out of it. Here's like an example of one. I actually just released this design today. And this is the blue, the pink. I love how this feels. And these are like a swirl. The, the gray um, is not, it's like a, it's, it's a minky fabric is what it is. A minky um, or a luxe fleece is what they call that. And then this other white fur. And I love how these colors go together. But I do want to warn about fabric like this. When you cut this stuff, fluff just goes everywhere. It's a very lightweight, fluffy fur. And like I, when I pulled it out of the plastic bag, it got all over me. I don't know why I'm wearing a black shirt to do this video. It's kind of stupid of me, but um, just be careful when you cut this. And you might even, if you get something like this, um, wear a mask because I definitely had a lot of like sinus issues a day or two after I cut this and accidentally breathed in all of that fluff. You have to be really careful with some of these faux furs. Most of them aren't a problem, but these really soft light ones that feel, you know, they're just, they're just something very light and fluffy about them. That fluff really gets up in the air. Another thing I've been playing around with is different kinds of feathers and fur and things to make hair and froofy things. And I'll show you on the table. This stuff was from Hobby Lobby too. These are little hair clips or hair ties. You can see the little hair clip in there. And they're not the cheapest, um, buck 99, but it makes a nice little, like a nice little froofy fluff on the top of a stuffed animal or something. So I, I kind of like that. Same thing with the feather boa. I'm gonna cut that up and use that. And then, you know, there's a red one. That's pretty cute too. Um, and then the faux fur, they have this pastel, like rainbow pastel faux fur. So, and these are just craft fur. Um, Hobby Lobby, Michaels, Joann's, they all sell just little pieces of trim. It's uh, about two inches wide is all that that is. And you can use pieces like this on your plushies and doll hair and things like that. And you don't have to buy it by the yard. So that's a tip. Okay, this stuff. This stuff I'm really excited about because recently, I think I mentioned, I used some scuba fabric in an applique and I was amazed at how good it looked. And I liked it so much, I was so amazed by how good it looked, I went and bought a whole bunch more scuba, but I found a really good supplier for it on Etsy. They're called, hmm, they're called that post-it note that I lost. Julie and Mila sells um, from their Etsy shop and they sell, it's 60 inches wide, so it's a really long strip, but it's five inches. Um, they just cut five inches off of the 60 inch bolt. So it's five inches wide by 60 inches long, I guess. Actually, it's the opposite. But for applique, five inches is usually a good amount for applique. So um, that's what I'm gonna use it for. And I got a whole bunch of colors. There's the green and yellow. I don't even know what I'm doing with those yet, but I got several for lip colors, red, hot pink. There's the coral. Um, and an example here, here's a prototype that I worked on. See how the lips are kind of like a 3D effect. They kind of bubble up and the same thing with the eyes. This is white scuba fabric and it kind of jumps off. It's kind of like using that fun foam that you see the puff 3D um, effects in a machine embroidery, but you don't have to actually embroider over this because it's a fabric. It's not gonna fall apart on you and you can use it as your applique and it gives a nice puffy effect. It's really cool if you do a lot of machine applique, try some scuba and see if you like it. Sometimes you can find this in fabric stores. Um, different ones do carry it. Here's a nice green. I got more of these because I plan on doing a lot more with these colors that I use often. But uh, Julie and Mila's Etsy shop, they sell the small five inch cuts and then you can also buy it like a uh, quarter yard, half yard, full yard. And their prices are pretty good. It's a few dollars for these sh uh, small pieces here. So I was able to get several colors and play around. And then the ones that I think I'm gonna use more, I got bigger cuts of that. But it's gonna be a lot of fun doing uh, applique with this. So besides the materials, I also bought myself a book. I've had this on my wish list for a long, long time. It's a stuffed animal construction book 
by Abby Glassenberg. She is also one of the co-founders of Craft Industry Alliance, which I'm a member of, a great group of people. She's really great, um, and her book is awesome. I mean, it's kind of like the book on how to make stuffed animals and how to design your own patterns. And a lot of it was information I already knew, but it's nice to have it like in this book, and I'm just gonna have it as a reference book because it's it's got everything you need in there. So just a shout out to Abby, love the book. Finally treated myself to that one. Finally treated myself to some great scissors, not just good scissors, I've had good scissors, but I finally got the great scissors. These are the Kai 7250 uh, dressmaker shears. They're not cheap. I think they were $70. I've never spent that kind of money on scissors before. I feel like I'm, I'm embarrassed, but oh my gosh, these scissors are amazing. They're very heavy. They cut like, like, people say cut like butter, but like they cut better than butter. I just, I can't tell you how amazing these scissors are. I wish I had spent $70 on scissors a long time ago. I really do because my other pair, and these are still sharp scissors. These are a good pair of, what are these? Singers. You can buy these in the fabric store, the hot pink ones. I'm sure you've seen them at like Joann's and places. And they're okay, especially when they're new, they're nice and sharp, but my fingers don't all fit in there. They're really squished. Whereas with the Kai, they, there's plenty of room in there. And also they just, you don't get your hand fatigue. It doesn't, you don't get the cramp in your hand with these like you would with something like this. And I don't know how they manage that. It's, it's pretty amazing. But yeah, so I finally treated myself to a good pair of Kai scissors. And I finally, I'm gonna try out these little bitty applique scissors. See how they're curved? I think you can see it that way. I finally treated myself to these little applique scissors as well because they have the blunt tip. And that's really hard to find in, in applique scissors. Usually they have that sharp tip and they dig into the fabric underneath and can cut it. And that's a real problem, especially if you're doing applique on top of fur. It was just, it was messy. So I finally um, found these and I'm gonna try these out today and see if I love them as much as I think I will because they seem like the perfect pair for applique in small spaces, especially when you have like a small four by four hoop. It's really hard to get, I'm sorry, I'm just all over the place. Uh, here, I got all the scissors out. So these bigger applique scissors, like if I need to get to something here on this side of the hoop, it's it's really hard because the, the bend is just not right and I can't get flat down there. And these are so much smaller that you're much more likely to just be able to maneuver inside of a small hoop very easily. So I'm pretty excited to try these out today. Okay, that was the, let's see, the scissors. I covered the fabric, I covered the book. I also got a glue gun. If you've watched my channel, you know I'm not a fan of glue guns. <laughs> I complain about glue guns all the time. I always burn my fingers, they glob out. So I watched another YouTuber's channel, I've forgotten who I was watching, but she talked about the Sherbonder, the fine tip, and then she had the Lynn Lilly version, and I went and found it. And it's this brightly colored aqua, it's so pretty, but it has this super fine tip. See how fine that tip is? You get a nice thin bead of hot glue when you use this. And um, it, Surebonder also has different kinds of glue sticks because I always bought the cheap stuff and I'm finally like, just get, just get the good stuff. And uh, it makes a big difference. So these are the Surebonder fabric glue sticks. And then they send text messages to me now, which I wish they wouldn't. I don't like people who market through text message. I'm gonna have to opt out of that. But um, they have a new hot glue that's made for foam and like cosplay, EVA foam, stuff like that. They have a new hot glue formula for that. So I gotta go get some of those because because it's foam and I gotta play with that. So um, finally converted over to liking a glue gun. Never thought I'd say it. It also is cordless. It has this base and the base plugs in. I don't have it plugged in right now because it's not, it's not turned on as you see me touching it, obviously it's not. <laughs> um, but it has this base and it recharges while it's in the base. And then you just pull it out and use it and it's good for a minute or so. And then you gotta make sure you put it back in and recharge it. But while you're using it, it's cordless. So it that was impressive too. But best of all, it just works and the glue holds on fabric. And so now I'm playing with this all the time instead. I used to be a big fan of the Fabri-Tac and I'm sort of converting over to fabric hot glue instead. Who knew? I, if you told me last month I would be a hot glue gun lover, I'd have called, uh, called you something. 
Okay, and the last thing I wanted to share is this. It's a vacuum cleaner for your work surface. Check it out. It has this little power button. You can see like it, the vacuum sucks it up here and it has this little brush and you just... How cool is that? Get that one, oop, there you go. And then you just open it up and all the stuff, you just dump that in the trash. And then screw it back on. I mean, that's, it's so neat. And it's a uh, USB rechargeable. So I don't have to put batteries in it. I just plug it in when I'm done. How cool is that? It even comes with this little, I'm calling it an elephant trunk and you pop it on the bottom and you can use it as a little like, bzz, like that. <laughs> Pretty cool that way too. But I haven't, I haven't used that for anything. Sorry if that's too loud in the microphone, but. But yeah, just for vacuuming off your desk, um, especially when I have little threads and pieces of fluff all over the place, this is really handy. It seems like a stupid thing to have, like just use your hand and wipe it off. But I, I don't know, there's just something fun about it. I love to vacuum. No, I won't come into your house and vacuum. So that was my haul. I just wanted to share it with you. Some fun fur and fabrics and uh, tools and uh, scissors. I can't wait to just really dig in with those scissors. So just sharing it with you. I'll see you later, folks. Who wears a black shirt to do a video about faux fur? Apparently I do.